Wood Green Academy is a highly successful co-educational comprehensive school and specialist college of sport, maths and computing for pupils aged 11 to 18 years. Wood Green Academy is particularly adept at addressing the STEM agenda and runs a range of extracurricular STEM clubs at lunch and after school in addition to their curriculum offer, which this video will now explore. STEM is extremely well developed across Wood Green Academy and as, as head teacher I, uh, I feel really proud uh, that we've got some excellent departments so the technology department is thriving, the science department has the biggest intake of A level students and maths also a core subject, we're a maths and computing college and I think it's really important that, that students get a good grasp of maths concepts and the mastery in maths too. The extracurricular activities in STEM at Wood Green are, are, are are integral to, to the students. The STEM extracurricular activities are very important. They play a big role in what the students do at school. Uh, on Wednesday afternoons we do a number of different activities and some of which are STEM related as well as additional clubs that we have during school time and after school time. And the students learn a lot and participate in a lot of events. I've been for the past three years been running extracurricular clubs based around uh, technical Lego. So it gave pupils an opportunity to you know, get involved in, in the problem solving aspects of gears and mechanisms. This year we were lucky enough to be involved in a Lego Mindstorms Robotic Challenge which is a joint initiative between Lego and uh, Robotics UK and it involves having pupils build an actual working robot that interacts with uh, the environment and it's uh, to simulate space travel and that kind of thing. It's been you know really really good uh, opportunity for the pupils, especially girls, to get involved in engineering. The STEM subjects that I study are technology and well, I want to study engineering, maths and science. I've benefited from the club um, by learning more of how to builds things and like how things fit together and just working with people better in general. The STEM subjects that I study are maths and science and technology. I'm involved in this Lego Mindstorm STEM because en engineering is not just for boys and it's just for girls as well and I was asked to come because I have building skills to help and build the Lego. The best thing I've probably done so far is like seeing everything that I've worked for come together and like how it all just works much better than you think it would at the start. The best thing I, that I've done so far is building the robot and helping to build the other little bits to making the robot. It's just really good to get your hands stuck into these things. The curriculum only leads students so far. The extracurricular takes them that extra step. It helps to develop their curiosity and their inquisitiveness and really drives that thirst and passion for knowledge. So without the extracurricular um, clubs, then you know, STEM really wouldn't have the same grip that it does have on the students now. I'm involved in this club because we have been recognised to be good in maths and technology. It teaches me like how to do things, like teach me how to program things and build things and stuff like that. Lego isn't just like the baby ones you get from like toy shops and stuff. It, it's it's a, you have to be really clever and not just clever but you have to be really good at making stuff and getting your hands into stuff and creating things. Some are more suited to the problem solving of the actual mechanics of the building. Some of them are more, you know, enjoy just the construction of the sets and where some of the pupils have, you know, really enjoyed calibrating the sensors and the programming side. I would recommend getting involved in the STEM club because it's an opportunity that many people might not get and you just get to see more of the things that maybe you don't have a really open opportunity for and get to talk to people more and work with them better. It gives you a new experience in building, programming and it gives you ideas for your future. 
it helps people to see that you, there's a different side to engineering and it's not just cars and mechanics and you can do different things like Lego and Lego is a sort of modern thing so people would want to join in. It helps you maybe choose your ideal job for the future and help you with it. In terms of engineering, I think some pupils have been talking about artificial intelligence, robotics. It's given pupils an opportunity to bring to the fore uh, skills and abilities that they may not necessarily know that they had. Yeah, at Wood Green it's something that we're really looking to develop even further than we have already because I think the extracurricular opportunities give students a chance to work outside what they're studying just for their exams and it helps them to see the importance of STEM in the wider world and it gives them an opportunity to really be stretched and challenged and inspire them to hopefully in future pick careers that are based on STEM subjects. The Mastering Leaders Award is an award designed for students in year 8, 9 and 10. It gives students the opportunity to look at maths not only in a classroom situation but it gets them to look at it in a practical situation and looks at the careers which they may want to go down um, and the maths involved with those careers. I study maths of the uh, STEM subjects and it's a great subject to study. Um, my future career that I want to do is teaching. I'm involved in the Mathematics Young Leader Award because I want to inspire other people to enjoy maths and I want to help others um, excel in it. The STEM subjects I study are maths and technology. I um, plan to, to work in the computing or technology field because I find, it, I find maths very interesting and and the great opportunity to learn new skills and work with people younger than me to help develop their skills. And they also support other students in the school um, who aren't the best at maths or who need a little bit more confidence at maths. On a more of a friendly basis rather than being a teacher it's more sort of a buddy. I've benefited from Myla by um, having more confidence and being able to uh, learn to teach others um, maths and help them. I have benefited as it has improved my math skills as well as improved my team working, communication and problem solving skills. Um, they also look at the careers that they want to go down and they have a careers talk where they look at the careers and they speak to the people that are related to their careers. Um, they also go outside the school and represent us at the UK Maths Challenge and they do various things around the school promoting maths and numeracy. Um, I think the best thing I've done so far with Milo especially is go to competitions and compete against other schools around the country. Um, I would definitely recommend STEM and doing clubs like that because it helps you gain a lot of different values and skills um, from it so it's definitely worth it. We had over 50% of our students applying for university courses in, the ste in STEM activities, our science courses um, lead very nicely onto the degree courses. STEM is very important in, and very strong in our department. Uh, our main aim is to inspire, enthuse and motivate our students right from the age of 11 years. Our computing de department um, works closely with Wolverhampton University so we've got a good link there and our students find that if they've got the basics right they, and the thirst for the knowledge through the extracurricular activities then they really want to go on and, and develop their passion further in those chosen careers. <laughs>